Genre. Fiction. Starry Night. Essential Question. What can we see in the sky? Read about what happens when two girls look for the Big Dipper. Josie and Ling were good friends. Ling was happy Josie was her neighbor. Josie was happy Ling lived nearby, too. Josie and Ling couldn't wait for the school day to end. They planned a sleepover at Josie's house. They were going to sleep in a tent in Josie's backyard. As the class was leaving, Mr. Cortez said, Your weekend homework is to look at the nighttime sky and explain what you saw on Monday. The class grumbled. Why the unhappy sounds? Mr. Cortez asked. It will be fun looking at the sky at night. The girls arrived at Josie's house and were delighted to be sleeping outdoors. Josie said, I'm so happy that we get to sleep in the tent. It will be lots of fun. Then Ling said, I'll get the sleeping bags and flashlights. I brought flashlights so we can play games in the tent. Josie's dad poked his head inside the tent. Girls, it is a good time to do your homework now because it is getting dark, he said. Aw, they both complained. Dad, said Josie, do we have to now? Yes, I already set up the telescope. Ling said, I hope this won't take too long. Josie looked up and spotted a crescent moon. Did you know the moon's light comes from the sun? said Josie. It's funny that it's called moonlight. Yes, said Ling, who was still thinking about playing in the tent. Josie's dad smiled at the girls and said, See the stars in the sky? Those points of bright light can form shapes. You can see the Big Dipper, he said. It's a group of stars that look like a giant spoon in the sky. The Big Dipper. Josie's dad showed her how to look through the telescope. Wow, that's more stars than I ever dreamed of. I never imagined there could be so many. It was Ling's turn to look. Ling cried out, I see a bright light moving in the sky. That's a shooting star, said Josie's dad. This is fun, said Ling. I really enjoy looking at the stars. I think we've seen enough of the nighttime sky, said Josie's dad. You girls can go play now. Aw, Dad, can't we keep looking? asked Josie. This is really fun. Yes, said Ling. We have had an adventure already, and we haven't even played in the tent yet. You're right, Ling, said Josie. This has been one exciting night. Make connections. What did you learn about the nighttime sky after reading this story? Compare what the girls saw in the nighttime sky to what you have seen in the nighttime sky. Reread. As you read, you can stop and reread the parts you do not understand or may have missed. This will help you understand what you read. Find text evidence. On page 201 of Starry Night, I am not sure what the Big Dipper is. I will reread this part of the story to see if I missed anything. Long. Josie looked up and spotted a crescent moon. Did you know the moon's light comes from the sun? said Josie. It's funny that it's called moonlight. Yes, said Ling, who was still thinking about playing in the tent. Josie's dad smiled at the girls and said, See the stars in the sky? Those points of bright light can form shapes. You can see the Big Dipper, he said. It's a group of stars that look like a giant spoon in the sky. I read that the Big Dipper is a group of stars that look like a giant spoon in the sky. 